Hello, my name is Jesse, a.k.a. DJ Dark X, for those of you who know about me and <laughs> the music that I work on every once in a while. Uh, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to make your own Super Nintendo samples from scratch. It's actually really easy. Uh, many people think it's, it, might, it might be a little difficult because you have to adhere to the limitations of 16 uh, samples. Uh, but you know what, it's really not that difficult, and I'll show you here today. Uh, first, let's go ahead. I've already imported a sound sample. I'm not. I think this is from Contact uh, VSL strings. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. First, we're going to go ahead and change it into a mono sample. So we're going to mix this, and we're going to mix down to mono. Then we're going to go ahead and do or uh, normalize it down to negative two decibels. I really wish it had. Uh, percentages but you know either way okay now uh, before we continue we're gonna go ahead and oh geez it's a little too much <laughs> okay and let's see oh, geez. okay uh, let's go back okay that's pretty good we'll go ahead and select from here go out delete that okay uh, I'm gonna do a quick test on the sample. I've brought down the volume a bit because it can be a bit loud. Still pretty loud, apparently. Sorry. Uh, let's bring that down a bit. Down to about... Mm, 35 on the playback volume. But again? Still pretty loud. Either way, okay. You get the idea, though. So, this on its own would be way too long. For Super Nintendo, it's uh, a total of 176,911 samples. That's way too much. We're gonna short. We're gonna cut that down. Now, um, I actually did make this video before, or I made it. <laughs> this is actually a second attempt. This is gonna be a lot cleaner and a lot quicker. But essentially, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, 28,000 samples. And here's the thing. Yeah, we're gonna take that out. At 28,000 samples. You can easily divide that by 16, 1750. Uh, you need your samples uh, to be like both in length and in loop, divisible by 16. So let's say it's 28,014 28, divided by 16. That will not work. Has to be divisible by 16 or else it's not going to work properly. Well, you can probably use it in software that, you know, as long as it works, right? But it's not going to be authentic. If you want it to be authentic, it has to be uh, divisible by 16. So, 28,000 is divisible by 16 perfectly. 1,750 times. Perfect. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, if you're doing it, uh, since I'm on Audacity, uh, go ahead and click Samples. For the time selections. I used to do this in Adobe Edition. Uh, I don't own the software, so I'm not going to use it. Uh, I'd rather just use Audacity. It's free. It's still relatively easy to use, and it, there is an alternative method the way I do it this way. Honestly, uh, Adobe Audition had cross mixing and cross fade ins and stuff like that. It was great, but when you're using different software, you have to just Use of would use what you've got. So we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna go over here to length twenty eight. I, I put start and length of selection. I, I usually do that for OGGs because it asks for loop start and loop length, not loop start and loop end. Either way, we're gonna go ahead and select. I'm sorry, edit, remove special. Trim audio or control T, I suppose. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize the view. We're gonna go over here. I actually remember what the loop is that I had before, so we're gonna do we're gonna start it at 8112. And 8112 is in fact divisible. Oops. Times one. <laughs> Divided by 16, sorry about that. 507 times. I think the one I had before was 8121. Yeah, that's what it was. Divided by 16. That's not going to work. So what I did, I saw that it was 507.5. I 
I can either go 506, but I'm going to go 50, uh, or uh, 508, but I'm going to go 507 times 16, 1812. Divided by 16, perfect. No decimal points. Has to be even. On the dot, point zero. So, we're going to go with 8112. So what we're going to do is select, or no, I'm sorry, edit, labels, at label with selection. Let's not really, okay, hold on. Uh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Do label. Now I'll stretch it all the way out to the very end. As your length, 18, or 19,888. Now we'll create the label at selection. Type in loop. This makes it a lot easier for you to actually reselect the loop at any time. All right, so here's what we're going to do. If you were to just select all of this and play it on loop, here's the result. That, that doesn't work, right? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to crossfade it. You'll know what I mean here in a minute. I'm going to select the start of the loop. We're going to go up to about here. So we're going to select uh, 2863. So let's keep that in mind. So we're going to do 28,000 minus 2863. Now, the selection of this part does not have to be in multiples of 16, just your loop and the entire length of the sample. Unless you're doing one-shot samples, then it doesn't matter. But if you're doing loops, the full length of the sample and the looped area have to be in multiples of 16. But this right here, the, the part we're getting, does not have to be. So we've copied this. Now, the reason I put in 28,000 minus the length of the loop, you'll find out here in a minute, 25,137. So we're going to go over here, deselect. We're going to 25,137. 25,137. Okay, so that's where we are. Now create a new track, mono. Paste. Ah, jeez. I don't undo paste. <laughs> Try that again. Starting off at 25,137. There it is. Edit. Paste. There we go. Really, I could have just selected this and brought it all the way out of here, but that's fine. Uh, you can actually... Move that wherever you want. But that's just the way I work. Anyway. Let's go ahead and select that. So right here, that's easily selectable. What we're going to do with the original sample, we're going to select it from here. The length is 2863. Right there, 2863. We're going to fade it out. Done. Over here, we're going to select this part, fade in, yes. very simple. And we're going to select both of the tracks, and we're going to mix and render. Up, oh, that didn't work. Under render, <laughs> select, okay, there we go, now both of them are selected. Mix and render. Ah, oh, jeez. No, that's not working. Let's try that again. Tracks. I think it's rendered to new track. No? Oh, why is it doing this? It's supposed to be... I, I did this earlier, and it worked. So I don't know why it's not working out. Let's try that again. Uh, you know what, it's fine. 
that's fine. We're going to go ahead and just mix it down to that. It's the same, it's the exact same sample. But now we're going to go ahead and select all of this. Now we're going to go ahead and hold select, or hold, oh sorry, not select, hold shift, sorry, hold shift, press play. There's your loop. But how do we know it actually works properly? Like that it's going to work authentically in Super Nintendo music, right? Uh, we don't really know. Actually, we do. First, I'm going to switch over here real quick. Off screen, you can't see it, but it's there. I've got some tools I'm running. Well, then I'm going to be running here in a second. Uh, music. Tools. There we go. This right here, SPC 700 player. I love this thing. It helps. This is all stuff I've worked on. Um, we're going to be doing Castera's Journey as an example. But okay. Let's go ahead and first, let's go ahead and export this as a wave. We're going to do strings tutorial. It's putting it into my own uh, folder of custom Super Nintendo samples. So the end point is going to be 28,000. Our starting point is going to be 8112. So we're going to open up Modplug Tracker. I already have a string sample here from East West. I know you can kind of barely hear it. Let's see, I, I couldn't see the register. It's kind of soft, but okay. It doesn't need to be very loud. This is what it, this is what it sounds like uh, just as a mod file. Simple, right? Uh, let's go ahead and go here. We're going to mute channels 1, 5, or 6, 7, 8, and I think 5. Yeah. Now let's play Castillo's Journey. Right, and that's what the current, that's what the current samples. Now we're going to go ahead and replace this. Let's see. Okay, good. Uh, let's see, where's the strings? Tutorial. We're going to start at uh, 8112, 2800, on. And then down an octave. So there's a new one. We're going to save this as Journey 3. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it. I like using Add Music K for the Super Mario World uh, stuff. So let's see, where is my... Oh. Oh, geez, I don't remember what, what I'm supposed to do. Hold on a second. So anyway, I'm back. Uh, forgot to install to reinstall Python, but now that we've got that done, oh jeez. There it is. Not sure why that didn't work, but it works now. Okay, so what we're going to do is now that we have this finished, uh, it's, it's, it's been redone, here's what the uh, what version 2 sounded like, right, okay. Now let's get the new SPC in here. It says two, but it's actually three, anyway. That's the new one. So as you can see, it does play it just fine. It plays the sample just fine on the SPC. 
and you know along with the rest of the music obviously but see I think that sample's a little too loud um, because I haven't I haven't tweaked it I just dropped it in there this one was made the, the previous one was made to be in this music properly because everything was tweaked properly anyway if you want to listen to that piece I'll present it another time regardless that's it. That's all there is to it. All you have to do is crossfade, do all that stuff. Bam, you're done. And it works in Super Nintendo music properly. All right. Now, with all that said and done, this is Jesse, a.k.a. DJ Dark X, signing off. <laughs>